We're being raided right now. For those that are watching, we are being raided by the CPD as we speak. What is this for, officers? What is this for? I'm unbuckling my seatbelt. Can I unlock it? I got okay. stuff in my I'm putting my, my phone in the top. Unbuckle it. Can you get the ground back for me? Hold on. Put your coffee down. I'm going to grab this one. Put it down in there. Mine out. Now go ahead and slide all that stuff down on the floor and step up. Anything on you? Nothing on you, right? No, no, sir. Nope. Can I have your both the camera? I have a pen. Mark them there. Put 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 them there. Uh, broadcasting live for our safety right now. We just went through a very harrowing ordeal. Uh, this is Luke Radowski. Uh Just right now, I've been pulled over by 12 police cars, undercover, and a main police captain in our vehicle here. Guns were drawn. I was taken out of the car, put in handcuffs, searched, and interrogated. We're gonna, we have the video of the cops pulling us over. I recorded it on my Ustream, but the officer turned off my Ustream and made sure it did not save the broadcast. This is really fishy because more fishy things are going on at the place we're staying at tonight. The place we're staying at tonight, we got a report that was being raided by the police. There's a lot of streamers, me, Tim Cast, Giraffa, Dustin, Jess, we're all here. We all traveled here together from New York. We were staying at Kayla's apartment. We got a message from Kayla saying that our apartment was being raided. We got another phone call saying that our apartment was not raided and there was no officers there. Kayla is giving us some weird information and said uh, it never happened. We're kind of freaking out here because we're, we're just talking about how we could be possibly set up. We're talking about how we could be possibly set up. Yeah. And, and they said that they found us. They said uh, we found them. Yeah. They so said that's we what found the, them? they said we yes, found them. They did. So the police said we found them, which means me, Tim Cast, Giraffa, Dustin, uh, yes. Jess. And we're in an area, as you can see, with no cars other than a parking lot. Look back at the street we came in on, zero cars. All of a sudden, the side streets filled up, came with cars, started coming down. I saw blue lights behind us. They came down the wrong side of the we street. We got internet on this? We got internet? Cut us off. No. I need someone to the, the, unmarked, the unmarked silver Crown Vic came, pulled right in front of us, cut us off. And boom, there they were. I mean, and then there were cars behind them. There was a, an Infinity, like a G35 or something. And he got out. He was the last car in the line. He got out. He talked to the police officers, pointed at a couple of us, pointed forward, pointed said something, me. and then took off the other direction. Right now, what we're doing is we're checking all of our bags, make sure that nothing was put in there, so we're not set up with anything right now. So we're we're checking all of our all of our items, yeah, all of our difference, and we're we're checking everything, making sure that there's nothing illegal planted on us. Are set up on here. We got the NLG number. We're gonna. Call. We just called the NLG five minutes ago. Not even. Not as, even. As, and we said, what do we do? We what's three one two? Yeah, three one two nine one three zero zero three nine. Just called them a few moments ago. We said that the place we're staying has been raided. We don't know what to do, and they said they can't really help us unless there's a contact made with the police. Yeah. We found them. Is the words that they used. They were looking for us. We are citizen independent. News journalist, uh, Giraffa, Tim Cast, and obviously myself, we're known for just reporting as we see it. And uh, we've been reporting a lot of bad things that have been going on here. We've been asking hard questions to the police. I hope my hard drive's okay, banging it on the floorboard. Yeah, and the batteries and everything else. And my, banging my uh, uh, cell phone as well. Tell them about the, the hard drives and the batteries. They were, they were banging yeah. hard drives and batteries. And my iPhone. And, and one yeah. of my friends' phones. Hard bagging them. Yeah. They took my hard drive and was smashing it against the floorboard, like, sideways. Gink, gink, gink. And they did it to his batteries, too, which looked like hard drives. Yeah. We're far away from the protest. We're not in the protest area. We're not in downtown Chicago. We're like, I took some wrong turns and ended up on our street that we're on, miles away, that we're, yeah. that we're staying on, and these cars just swarm us. Yeah. We're checking all the compartments. We're checking everything right now, making sure nothing illegal was placed in our car. Very scary, weird situation. They said uh, one of the white shirts, which is a high-ranking lieutenant or captain of the CPD, told us 
uh, when I was looking him in the eye when we were talking, he said our car matched the description of another car they were looking for. But when he did that, he looked down, he started smiling, obvious signs of a liar, they were lying because when they first pulled over and they drew guns on us, uh, Jeff overheard them saying, we found them, we found them. Yeah, so we went to the house, I went to the house, checked it, the door, the alarm was like in the beginning of going off and the slow beep, then I went back and it was in the like crazy alarm. Then we went back to the house a few minutes later, the alarm was off. The only way it goes off is if you put, you shut it off and the door was open. So we're like, we figured out, and this girl that was staying with was acting really weird, so we're like, okay, maybe someone planted something there, because that's what other people are saying. They've been planted stuff on. We've seen it happen before. Police have actually been charged and found of this, planting drugs on occupiers and stuff. So we called the National Lawyers Guild to, uh, to get assistance to have them come to the house with us. We outlined the entire thing to them. We hung up the phone. We called this girl, told her to call her police officer boyfriend. She wouldn't. She was acting weird. And, like, a minute after that, the cops swarmed us. We don't know. We're, get, we're talking to lawyers right now so we can go get our stuff and we're checking all our things to make sure nothing was planted on us and then we're going to go get a secure location. We have a bunch of people offering us places to stay or we might get another location. We'll see. So we're at the apartment. Uh, the situation is very weird because the place, the person we're staying with told us earlier that cops were around the building and were about to raid her wouldn't apartment her, wouldn't let her in. and wouldn't let her in. Later, she called us and said, uh, when me and Tim broadcasted out to our Twitters and our Ustreams, uh, when she told us that, then she called us panicking, told us not to say anything. Uh, Jeff came here with Jess, and the door is open. The alarm was going off, and nobody was in here. And now the person uh, that called us and gave us these two conflicting reports is not staying here anymore. So this is a very weird situation, and as we were talking about how weird the situation is, we got pulled over by 12 squad cars that pulled guns on us and pulled us for a fake reason. There's Nate, Occupied Air, who was also staying with us. What up, man? Occupied Eye, sorry. How's it going? I Good. heard about everything. Jesus. Good. Yeah. Pretty shaken up. You heard about what happened here yeah. earlier, too? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah we, the, we door, okay. the door open. The alarm and how it got shut off while yeah. we were After being told it was being raided. We called the NLG and we called Kayla and then two seconds after that call, well, like two minutes after that call, we're driving down the side street and then they just swarmed up. Right, here's what we need to do, figure out. How do we approach this? Our stuff's inside. The it's been tampered. Doors, doors are I know. It's obviously been tampered. Do you have the alarm code in case it goes off again? I do. Okay, good. Um, I, I mean to say that our stuff has, but the apartment has. We have to make sure also that our stuff has not been tampered with and nothing illegal has been put in there. Now we all have a lot of stuff. That's our major concern right now. We have a lot of things, a lot of possessions, and we have to go through each and every one of the possessions uh, and make sure nothing was placed oh, okay. illegal in there. They take everybody's IDs? Yes, they Your took ID? my ID, ID, they took my phone Your number. ID? Took my credit card? ID? Yep. They didn't take my ID. No the, way. The guy pointed at me, didn't take my ID, and he made a swivel finger Hold and uncuffed me and said, this Hold is a different card. Card. No way. Yep. He they asked me if I had an ID. I said it's in my bag. They ignored it. We had the really interesting thing on my phone the other day, which on my Wi-Fi repeater on my phone, a long password. I can tell everyone now, but it was, it was all your base R belonged to us with numbers and characters and all kinds of stuff with WPA2. And we're sitting there having a meeting about setting up alternate wireless networks. All of a sudden, a new MAC address pops on and authenticates on my phone. All right, so for those that are listening, that basically means uh, Jeff watched in real time. Someone connects into his, uh, his Wi-Fi hotspot and he had a ridiculous password that not even I knew. No, none of us knew it. Someone connected to his Wi-Fi device. I think me, you know, it should be me and Luke who go in, and then you guys should stay outside. And if anything happens, and also stream. Here. The point of us going in is that anything that's in there won't be on them because they weren't in there. Mm. And then sure. we can make sure we can check all the bags and okay. bring it back out. And then so. If anything anything was tampered with or anything is in there, it'll be on us. Let's go bring everything back out. Wait, so is it only me and Tim who are doing it? Yeah, but he's going to stream us. From the door. Just stay like, yeah, yeah. Oh. The other door on the left. I know, I know. I'm just going to look inside. I will recommend going upstairs and downstairs as soon as you go in and make sure there's no one there. Um, yeah, let's do that just to make sure. I don't know about that. I say let's I do it. get in, get our stuff, and get out. It just beeped. Is that okay? Yeah, it usually does beep. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, we're trying to be careful. Might be a setup.
once again, but not even security. Because you think it's okay. Make sure you shake everything. Check all pockets. So for those that are watching, I was the only one who was not ID'd by the police. And I was pointed out by a supervisor. This definitely was not an accident. This was not an average traffic stop. I think, yeah. At all. There's no way. This is so weird. Just everything with just being told our house, our apartment was being raided. And this isn't the, this is like, you've covered G20 and G8 before. Yeah. Never had anything this weird happen to me. Kayla has a few things she needs you to grab. Um, wait, wait, who? Kayla. <laughs> Kayla, the person who lied to us? Uh, I don't think I... Did she lie to us? Huh? Just a very weird situation. I don't know what's going on. I don't think I could do anything for anybody right now. Kayla, this is her apartment called us and told us not to do anything, not to come here, not to contact the National Lawyers Guild. But we did it anyway. We contacted the National Lawyers Guild. I saw a guy in a suit and a guy in a vest just walk in. Here? Walk around the other side, but it could just be a false alarm. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Here's your Mac charger. Thank you. Here's your computer charger. Anything else? Uh, fuck. Would you mind grabbing my toothbrush from me? Upstairs bathroom? First floor. First floor bathroom. Sorry. Oh, my black shirt's hanging up downstairs on the rack. Noise bridge shirt. We're, I'm going down with Tim. Thanks. we got to go down to the basement. Sounds fun. This is important. I'm not going to lie. My heart was racing when those cops ran up to us with guns pointing at us <laughs> and started screaming at us. I'm not worried about it. We might lose coverage. That's the, that's the issue. Do you want me to stay up here? Yeah. You want to come down a little bit more? Uh, I'll go down until I start losing data. I have current. How's your data? I have data. I just heard something, I think. Wait, where's this black shirt? Go down the rack. Where? Here? In the back. I have data. You mean the lines working? Nope, four. We got everything then? Yeah. Heard some squeaking. That wasn't you or me. Oh yeah, I just lost data. I got data. No, I got it. Back. I got it. I had it the whole time. Uh, so the person that is staying in this apartment that let us stay here, she is not staying in this apartment, which is very, very weird and awkward. And now we have to find new accommodations at one o'clock in the morning. I mean, you tell, you tell me you weren't intimidated when those guns were drawn and they were pulling up on us. I was not intimidated. Don't lie. I'm not lying. You, you, your heart didn't start racing? Alright, this is Dustin's stuff. My heart stuff. was racing, but it wasn't because I was intimidated. Well, well you could pretty much say the same I'll thing. But it, I was, I'll say it exactly like this. I was worried. What just happened is all part of, of what we're getting ourselves involved in. Okay, that's one bag. Time. It was only a matter of time until something like that happened, and I've been expecting it for a while. Yeah. Some people are saying nasty things on the Story social stream. I wish you would be in the situation to have guns drawn on you, have officers scream at you and not know what was going on, to think that you could be possibly set up. It's not a very easy situation we're in now. I'm going to go lock the back door. Why? Uh, I would leave it the way we found it. She can come lock it. It's her place. Yeah, it's her place, and for her not to be here after telling us conflicting reports, is weird. Call her cop boyfriend is also weird. Yeah. And then to call us and ask us who we're with is also weird. What do you think the chances are that they were just following us from the protest, saw us pick people up? They weren't following us. I, look, I, I kept watching our mirrors. We didn't have people following us. They were camping. It's like they knew where we were going to go. What do you... Yeah, I think... They might have, like, maybe just saw us pick people up from the protest. They weren't telling us. Well, what I was saying is, they might have just pulled us over because they saw us pick people up from the march, not realize that 
you know, thinking it was a car full of protesters. And here's, here's what I'm saying. With the recent case of the three people who were arrested, that they had undercovers working to gather information, they're definitely going after other groups as well, and they probably got undercovers in other places. So what they also might be doing in this circumstance is not really having any undercovers, but just raiding random places and people. Some people are saying it could be just scare tactics and intimidation techniques. You know, it, what, the it, truth it, is we just don't know what it, happened. The, the thing is, it's extremely weird when you have the thing with our apartment, the place we're staying at, happened earlier know. today. That's what makes it super weird, because we were just talking about how we may be getting set up with something, how the situation is sketchy, how people are lying to us that we're staying some with. People, some people were saying that it, it seems like uh, they had pulled us over just to, just to hold us while they could get out, get out everyone out of the apartment before we made it there. Or get them. some things that they wanted to plant us with out of there, too. And we know, you know, they've been caught many times planting things on people. All uh, the police have been caught planting drugs on people many times, caught on video doing that, planting falsified evidence just to get a case. We don't have anything. We're fully transparent. We're, we make sure we have nothing illegal in the car ever, or we do. We, we make sure we not do ever do illegal. anything illegal or anything stupid. We're super cautious because we have to in these circumstances, especially when you're reporting everything live, raw, unedited. That's why we have the stream. We have nothing to hide. I've never done it. The only way to really take us down efficiently is to set us up. And I don't want to sound paranoid, like a paranoid person, but uh, that could be very likely, a way to shut us down by making us look guilty of something that we're not, and that could be very possible. There's a lot of Wi-Fi over here. Yeah, we're People are saying check the undercar, underneath the car. Yeah. Jeff's gonna do it right I now. Have light out. I have light too. Oh, thanks. Oh, we're okay. gonna go check in the car. Ooh, exhaust load. Usually right up in here. No, this is fucked up. This is so fucked up. And I just Let's try to be civil here. Let's not let them let's not let's not get them in a mood where we're all angry. Because when you're angry, you make mistakes. When you panic, you make mistakes. Yeah, I was just letting you know that out. I don't get angry. Yeah. I'm stressed. Are you kidding me? She's saying she didn't talk to us? Yeah. Did you hear this? What? The person that lives here is saying she never talked to us today. We talked to her. Jess and I talked to her on speakerphone. Jess talked to her once on speakerphone with me. Then I talked to her on speakerphone. Then I talked to her personally on the phone. So the person is totally lying to us. We got a squad car moving off down the street. Yeah, the person that we're staying with is totally lying to us. Hi. Do you have any vacant rooms? Yes, you do? All right, thank you. Um, I'll be there soon. Bye. Yep, we're good. So when you talked to Kayla on the phone the first time on speaker, she told you that they weren't letting her in? All right, what happened is I spoke to her. Yeah. She said she had shown up and the cops would not let her in. Ah, okay. She then, said I spoke to Jeff's girlfriend. Then, later she said she saw the cops and left. She didn't talk to them. She didn't engage them at all. She had nothing to do with them. And now she's the, now the girl who tells these two conflicting reports about her apartment being raided in my apartment she is saying that is now de is now denying that she even talked to us. She said she, no. She said she did not talk to Jeff's girlfriend. I didn't talk to Jeff. She did talk to Jeff. She talked to her boyfriend, and he said it was inappropriate for her to ask. And he had nothing to say. Her cop boyfriend. Mm-hmm. A lot of white vans in front of this Holiday Inn. Well, the, this is the perfect place to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these police oh vehicles. Oh my god. <laughs> Here. You got K-9? Great. This is Great. filled with police officers. Great. You think the cops are staying here? Yeah. They're from I, don't, I don't know. Those are Maryland police. Those are Maryland police officers. And California. And California police officers that were brought in here. This is Maryland police, and they're There's all California police, up there. All police vehicles all around the area. All right, someone's with the vehicle. There has to be water somewhere. I know there's water. I dumped it. Why'd you dump it? Because I was in panic mode. Mm. I'm still hitting shots. and Dustin shocked or what happened. Dude, I have that image of the guy and right in that window of his, his, 
His gun pointed at me, dude. That's crazy. It was pointed at me. Yeah. We gotta put that in slow motion and upload that on it's not. It's not on the camera, dude. Because mm. I fucking dropped it when I saw the fucking gun. I'm not gonna... Oh, yeah, he's got a gun pointed at me. I'm gonna put a camera in his face. No, he's gonna think it's a gun and he's gonna shoot me. I pulled out my camera. Are you kidding me? And I put out my cell phone like that. Oh, my God. I can't believe they did that. Yeah. They only have singles yeah, and $310 a night. And they don't even have singles okay. connecting doors. Wait, let's get a single and just sleep on the floor. They... I don't think they'll let us. Then why wouldn't they let us? We're paying for a room. Let's pay for a single. Let everybody stand. I'm gonna go in and use the bathroom. Can someone come with me? I just don't. I think I don't think Luke should go with you, <laughs> considering yeah. he's streaming. Uh, put your camera away. You have press that. Hey, Jeff, looks like we can't stay here. Okay, we have another hotel uh, that Punk Boy recommended. It's a, a Holiday Inn. Uh, the police scanners are waiting for us to say where we're going. Really? Yep. He's watching our stream. That's what Punk just told me. What? The police scanners are watching our stream. The police are watching our stream, waiting for us to give a location. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What is happening? The streamers are going to a hotel. We're gonna wait for them to say where they're going, is what they said. Alright. Why? Okay. Why are they doing this? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't say it out loud. So, can you text me that address? And, uh, yeah. Okay. Is that confirmed? Alright, thanks. That's confirmed. Okay. Shit, I fucking forgot my camera back at how they are. Nope. Call them and ask them how long to take. You gotta go back to the camera. I forgot the camera in the bathroom when I took it off to go to the bathroom. You gotta call them anyway right now. You have to call them. Call them? Tell them to hold on. And now to they're it. gonna be waiting for us at the Holiday Inn. So you have to call. Yeah, we can't go back to the Holiday Inn right now, dude. I'm sorry. You just gotta call them and tell them to hold on to it until tomorrow so we can come get it then. Call them. I don't have the number. I gotta look it up. Okay. That is weird. Let's go. Is that really confirmed by Punk Boy in SF? Yeah. Watching our stream or, or what are they... He said that they're, they're waiting for the streamers. The streamers are getting a hotel waiting to, fe to see where they're going. Is, uh, he heard that on the police radio. Yeah, a friend of his that's listening to the police radio called him and told him that. Tell him to confirm and get the exact wording and to see exactly that's, what they said. That's, he said that's almost word for word. So I guess we can't really tell everybody where we're staying now. This is very, very weird. We just got word from our friend listening on the police scanners that the police are waiting yeah, to see where we stay. On the scanners, there's saying we're waiting for them to give their location. Why are they waiting for us? Why are they doing this? To freak us out. But it's not going to work. You know, Punk Boy NSF to be a reliable source. I don't know if he would lie, but this seems pretty unbelievable. Right now, to be honest with you. He is a reliable source. I don't see no reason for him to lie right now. I know you guys want to keep streaming, but it actually may be a good idea if we turn them off. I don't think so. I don't think it's a good idea to stop streaming. I think they're just trying to keep us sleep deprived and paranoid and scared. Wait, wrong way. You rented it and do not enter. <laughs> no cursing and just oh, no, no, concentrate no, no, no. on We just went down the street the wrong way. Oh. Another person heard it on Chicago Police Zone 4, District 1 and 18, live audio feed here. Punk says he promises it's real. Stop telling people to intel. Yeah. I'm going to pull your camera batteries. We can't do that. We have iPhones. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, people are telling me my friend Mike was arrested, and he said uh, from Milwaukee... They specifically asked me about you and what you had on. You? Yeah, so my friend's reporting saying he was detained. Your friend? Took him to, yeah, yeah, so took him to the fusion. Yeah, yeah, my friend is reliable. Uh, taken to a, he was taken to a fusion center, he's saying. Uh, and he's saying that they interrogated him about me.
This is weird. Milwaukee, we are change. Was arrested and held for six hours uh, out of a NATO fusion center jail. Recorded everything. I just saw you or earlier. I got illegally detained for six hours at a Homeland Security fusion center. All on film, bro. Yo, they specifically asked me about you, what you had on. That is really insane right now. My friend, who was illegally detained for six hours at a Homeland Security Fusion Center, he said they were questioning him about me and what I had on me. So, things were getting weirder and very weirder by the minute. Very sketchy, very weird. That we were lied to about with the person we were staying with. I think it's weird we made that call right before, and then it went down. Yeah, that was like that mm. was. Yeah. Okay, we're heading to the house now. Boom. You know, there's so many options. The bottom line is, it's just really creepy. It's just and creepy. shit doesn't fit. What was going on? No, but we're being fucked with hardcore. Uh, police scanners are going off right now, uh, saying that they're looking for our location. Uh, we are changing Milwaukee. Uh, a member, uh, the, uh, a friend that I saw today was illegally arrested, put in a Homeland Security Fusion Center, and questioned about me. Uh, the person we are staying with is lying to us. Uh, it's some really fucking crazy ass shit going on right now. We weren't arrested, but we were uh, a bunch of police officers, a number of vehicles, undercover vehicles, and high-ranking police officers ran up to us with gunpoints, detained us, searched us, uh, questioned us, and uh, pretty much uh, just tried to scare the crap out of us, pointing guns at us. Okay. Again? You just whipped around. Okay, never mind. I'm driving erratically. Okay, let's just calm down here. Yeah, I think we need to... Dude, he just, like, he just... It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, just down. relax and stop doing things like that. You're putting us on edge. Get a phone call from an unknown number. Not picking that up. Thank you again for everybody that's watching. You guys are keeping us safe during this weird adventure that we are all going through right now. Very weird last kind of events from being very oddly lied to about our place of residence and a possible raid to getting guns pointed at us. Now we're hearing reports of police scanners waiting for our final destination to see where we do stay tonight. That's why I'm keeping the camera down and not on the road. And now I also heard my friend got illegally detained at a Homeland Security Fusion Center and questioned about me and what I had on me. There have been roundups, raids. They charged a group of young people with terrorism charges and conspiracy for terrorism because they plan to participate in this demonstration. And all of it is calculated in the media here to try to make the population fearful of participating in the demonstration tomorrow. This is really an effort to use fear on a domestic level, in the same way that NATO uses fear in their wars around the world. They want to freeze people, stop people from acting, uh, and do everything that they can to disempower the population here, who, who is beginning to understand the enormous cost of these wars and the cutbacks here at home. And I do want to say that, that people on the street really stop and, and wish us well. 
uh, and we will see in what numbers they come out tomorrow. But there's an effort to silence uh, the average person from coming out out of use of all of these fear tactics.